I met an INFJ university professor. Hey, sorry, my name is Eric. Could I ask you three quick questions? Yes. Awesome. Yeah, so the first question is, do you prefer the forest or the beach? The forest. And the mountain or the park? The mountain. And mountain versus forest? Mountain. Okay. I'm going to guess that you're a judging personality type. Judging, yeah, judging personality types. They're goal-oriented. They tend to like focus. They tend to be able to work long hours. They tend to be proactive, take initiative, assertive, confident, stable, and dependable. Yeah? Would you say that's you? Yeah, I hope. What do you do? A professor in university. What do you teach? Uh, fluid mechanics. Fluid mechanics. So you're a bit of an engineer. Can I ask you three more questions? Okay. Do you prefer winter or summer? Summer. <laughs> and spring versus autumn? Spring. Spring versus summer? Spring. Okay. So typically people that say spring tend to be people that make decisions more based on their feelings, on their gut instinct. They tend to be more warm, interpersonal. They enjoy being around others. Would you say that's you? Yeah. Yeah. So that would make you a feeling and judging type. They tend to be very good at communication. That tends to be their primary skill. They can make themselves understood by people easily. And they tend to be people that get into a flow state when they're talking in front of others. Yeah. What's something you can do for hours without getting bored? Hiking, <laughs> sports, oh. writing or, or research if, if it's an interesting one. What kind of things do you write about? Again, it's earth sciences, kind of physics of earth. Right, right. Okay. And I would also guess that you're more of an intuitive type. So a person that's more creative, lots of ideas, theoretical, because you seem to enjoy research, right? Yeah. 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 And I'd guess that you're more of an introvert too. Is that also true? Yeah. Not maybe very, but yeah. Yeah. I'd also assume you're a bit in between the two, but a little bit more introverted. So I'd say a bit more introspective, like to think, like to understand who you are, where you come from, why you think the way you do, and what you want most out of life. Uh, yep. Also a bit of a philosopher. I get a free therapy now. Yeah, that's all my channel is all about, <laughs> honestly. Getting people to get to know themselves and others. So would you also say you're a bit of a philosopher? Yeah. 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 Based on what I said, you'd be an introverted, intuitive, feeling and judging type. Have you ever done a Myers-Briggs test or a 16 personalities test? No. So basically, according to that idea, there are 16 personnel types in the world. INFJs, they're the ones that are typically known to be academics, philosophers, writers, counselors. They also tend to be good communicators. So that's kind of the bubble you would be in. Does that sound like you? Yeah. 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 How did you call it again? <laughs> INFJ. So they're sometimes called uh, counselors. They're sometimes called uh, philosophers. Okay. And... Uh, what would you say is something that you find to do be stressful? Errands. Errands. <laughs> Finance. <laughs> Money. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. INFJs as feeling types can sometimes struggle with thinking. So thinking is related to more money, achievement, success, like pushing forward for something that will yeah, improve you or like get you more money or business, things like that. How about distractions? How do you handle being distracted? Not very well. <laughs> easily distracted. Yeah. Very easily. Judging types tend to be people that want a lot of focus. So they prefer to be able to sit down with something and work with until they're done. And sometimes being spontaneous can be a bit difficult. No, I'm very spontaneous. Okay. Uh, what situations are you spontaneous? Well, unfortunately, any of them. I, I need to move around between stuff. Uh, I can't sit and do the same thing for a long time. So, yeah. uh, I, rarely so I need to focus, but it's a very short period, and then I need to do something else. <laughs> That's really interesting. I rarely see people work outside, so <laughs> is that something you do often? Yeah, well, I live now in, in England. I'm here for a visit, so yeah. I miss this sun and the ability to work outside. Oh. In England right now, I would be with five layers, and, uh, <laughs> and it will be raining on my laptop. So, uh, that would not be possible. So you're, you're basically, you love hiking, you love being out in nature. And you do that to kind of inspire yourself when you work with your computer a lot. Yeah, yeah. And kind of enjoy the sun, the, the fresh air. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much for answering my questions. And uh, yeah, have a nice day and good luck with your work.
Isn't it interesting to see in a person that loves to write, loves to research, loves ideas, that there is also this side that pulls them out into nature. This man was not just a fan of research or being a professor, but he also enjoyed hiking and he seemed to want to work outside. And here you can see this polarity between introverted intuition and extroverted sensing and how this INFJ works to balance between these two contrasting forces in his life and how he needs both of them to maintain his health and well-being. Being. As an INFJ, what do you do to ensure that you get the perfect balance between work and intuitive work and thinking and contemplation, but also time outside? And how does that influence you and your thought process? 